we finally had success with the pillow. I put a pillow down to make it more comfortable for his wound because he was not comfortable on the floor. Even on carpet, he wouldn't lie down. It's clearly causing him a lot of pain, his wound. And I put the pillow down and he kept going round it and beside it and would not go on it. And eventually, after about half an hour, he's on it. So he's finally worked out. He literally just turned around from lying there and went on it and thought, oh, actually, this isn't too bad. Feels quite good, doesn't it, Al? So, success with the pillow. So, I did this with Pom Pom when he had a UTI. I have, um, I get Emma pillows and they have four sections to them. And it doesn't bother me taking a small section out. I don't notice too much height missing off my own pillow. But these smaller sections are very, very thin indeed. So, it's a pillow cushioning for him, but it's something he can easily get onto on the carpet without feeling that he's climbing onto a big pillow. So that was really ideal. I had that to hand and uh, it's done the trick. So half an hour I've sat here with the pillow trying to coax him onto it. I left him for the 20 minutes just now and he's been going all around the carpet, hiding behind it in that corner and then going there and then eventually he just sat on it now. And he's realised actually for his little sore patch and his little tushy, it's actually quite comfortable, isn't it, Hals? Hey, Hals? Yeah, I'm a bit sorry for yourself, aren't you? You did ask me for some head rubs earlier, didn't you? And then you kind of just wanted to lie on here now, which is good. <laughs> 